Several programs in Lewiston are dedicated to teaching new Mainers about cancer prevention. Yeah, and in our continued partnership with the Maine Cancer Foundation and Challenge Cancer 2020, WMTW News 8's Lauren Bradley shows us some of the women behind that effort. Because we can't just push it under the rug. We have to talk about it. Hebo Omer is the program director for the New Mainers Public Health Initiative in Lewiston. She's getting people who immigrated here more familiar with different cancers during a series of workshops. Omar says it helps break down barriers. She says some women aren't comfortable at the doctor's office. And they will say point blank, it's invasive, I don't like it. The one-year pilot program aims to standardize the language and culture of cancer. Just a few blocks away at Healthy Androscoggin, they're doing something similar. Well, I'm coming from the country that prevention didn't exist. We didn't have facility, we didn't have prevention health care. So the idea of prevention was never heard of if you're from Somalia. Fausia Muse is a community health outreach worker who immigrated to the U.S. years ago. She's dedicating her time to making sure new Mainers are getting the care they need. So we took a lot of information from the CDC from everywhere, but made it very culturally appropriate, fitting the population that we're targeting. She'll be leading the Colon Health Rx workshop, where she'll explain colorectal cancer through a PowerPoint presentation. According to the CDC, colorectal cancer rates are highest among black Americans. And while there's no data for African immigrants, rates are estimated to be even higher. Healthcare providers will refer the new Mainers to the workshop. The goal is to encourage screenings. People will learn how to complete what's called a fit test. So then it shows you how to use the fit card. It's the organizers hope that those who attend will pass the information along. We depend on neighbors to educate friends and neighbors, so there's this natural way of being educated about public health that comes from people that they trust. And that was Lauren Bradley reporting for us tonight. Both the pilot program and the Colon Health Rx workshop are all possible because of funding for the Maine Cancer Foundation.